Welcome back to another episode of Policy and Me. Today, we're going to talk about the National Squatter Management Policy. I'm your host, Javon Gordon. There's been a rapid increase of informal settlements and also squatting. But the National Squatter Management Policy seeks to address this so that we can have a squatting-free Jamaica. We're going to talk to Mrs. Charisse James, Acting Director of the Squatter Management Unit here at the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. But before we get into that conversation, we want to hear your views. What are your thoughts about squatting and do you think that it affects Jamaica? Well, yes because um well to me squatting is not right because individuals always um squat on land that is not livable meaning they have no drainage no pipe no water system no good toiletry no, no nothing like that so in the long run it affects their health and maybe their children or whatever and eventually the government has to come move them off of this off of the land that they are squatting on so i don't think it's right it's a major major issue because people can't be um, just going on other people's lands to capture it when they pretty much work very hard to buy the lands in the first place. So yeah, and that again can cause crime. I think it affects Jamaica very badly. I don't think it is right for a person to buy their property, leave it until they're ready for it and somebody has just come and take it and believe it's their own and them have all the right. I don't think it is right. Do you know what the government is doing to mitigate against this? No. They're doing something? No, I don't know about it. Uh, not really. Not really. So you don't know about a policy about squatting? No, no. I hear about Sometimes you don't pay any attention. All right, I look forward to the Vox Pop every single episode. Some in, some interesting views there, but tell us, Miss James, tell us about squatting. What is it? So squatting, as defined by the UN Habitat, is the illegal occupation of a building or land where persons um, use this property for residential purposes, commercial, industrial, agricultural, etc., and without the explicit use of the landowner or oh. the owner of the property. Okay, so the government, they have the National Squatter Management Policy in place. Tell us about it. Is it a draft? Where is it now? And what are some of the issues that the policy addresses? Okay, so the National Squatter Management Policy aims to address all forms of squatting in Jamaica. Squatting is found in all parishes right across the island. We have um, the issues as it relates to the social aspects, the environmental and the economic aspects of squatting. Because of how pervasive squatting is right across the island, there are immeasurable costs and the ministry or the government of Jamaica yeah. thinks that we, if we don't address this issue, now then in the future it will be more challenges for us oh. and so there isn't any legislation in jamaica that specifically addresses squatting there are different legislation from which you can pull different aspects to address the issue but not a one definite one yeah. right and so we deemed it necessary to develop a policy to address all these issues of squatting. So it's a draft right now? Yes, currently we are in the final stages of the draft. Mm -hmm. We have had our consultations with various stakeholders, including persons who are living in squatter settlements across the island. And we are about to submit to cabinet for approval for the green paper. Okay, so some important points there, but we want to get deeper into the policy and now for everybody's favorite jar, the policy jar of questions. So I'm going to pick from this jar some, like, you know, rapid fire questions about the policy and you can share your expert knowledge on them. Ready? Sure. All yes. right. <laughs> so let me get into the first question. So why is squatting such an issue in Jamaica and how widespread it is? I know you touched on some of it, but expound on it. Right, so we have approximately 540 squatter settlements mm. island-wide, yes, with uh, Kingston and St. Andrew, St. Catherine, 
St. James having most of the squatter settlements. We have parishes like Manchester mm -hmm. or St. Thomas with the least amount of settlements. Um, what we find is that um, squatter settlements are found sometimes in environmentally sensitive areas right. like in watershed, flood prone areas, etc. Risky areas. Yes. And so we all have to address all these issues. Right. All right. So next question, I know we're going to read it fast. So what are some of the goals of the policy? We have four, four goals for the, the policy. Goal A is the establishment of an integrated squatter management program. Right. This is where all stakeholders come together, all hands on deck right. to address the issue of squatting. Right. We also have goal B, which is security of tenure and social inclusion. This is where we, we address the issue of squatting as it relates to access to tenure security mm -hmm. uh, over a tenure continuum. Mm -hmm. Yes. We also ensure that we we'll provide means by which persons would have access to social amenities, etc. Still under B. Still under mm -hmm. B. We have goal C, mm -hmm. which is the prevention of squatting in Jamaica. And this is where we look at the amendments, the legislation. Okay. Yes. And also where property owners can use legislation to assist them in preventing persons from coming onto the property. Okay, and the last one? And the last one is the sustainable use of our land resources. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, squatting does affect our environmentally right. sensitive areas. And so we seek to restore these lands. All right, thank you for that. So let's go into the next question. So who now, so the people now, who does the policy affect or impact? And can you explain this impact? Of course, we're going to start with the persons who are living in squatter settlements. Right. As I mentioned, under Goal B, there is social inclusion where persons, there would be the means for persons to have access to social amenities, mm -hmm. etc. Um, regularization over a tenure continuum. We have the Jamaican society overall where, of course, you know, because we will address the, the environmental issues, etc., the entire country would benefit. Right. And also, some of our squatter settlements are riddled with crime. Hmm. Yes, some, some squatter settlements are riddled with crime. So, and goal so, B directly impacts the people and that's the impact of it. Okay. So yeah. you can continue, how else does it impact? Where are the other stakeholders involved? So some of the stakeholders, of course, you know, we have the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job mm -hmm. Creation, which has the responsibility for the oversight of the implementation of the policy. We also have our municipal corporations mm -hmm. who will work directly with us in terms of the planning aspect etc so everybody plays everybody's every, supposed to every, know about the squatter management yes, policy all right every jamaican should know about this everybody <laughs> so what should people know about the policy so i know it's a long document right now you study mm -hmm. it so you're supposed to tell us the important parts of it that people should really know about the policy all right, so the National Squatter Management Policy embraces seven principles and they are access to adequate housing, leave no one behind. Right. Social inclusion and respect for human rights, environmentally sustainability and climate resilience, sustainable use of our land resources, empowerment and personal responsibility, participatory development, transparency and accountability also we have used geospatial technologies to assist us in gathering data and developing geospatial tools to assist in the implementation of the policy and so we look forward to implementing a policy that is holistic yes yeah. All right, so the unit, we're going with things, right? So we're looking forward to a robust, analytic policy. So next question, better final question. I can't believe okay. we're done already. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it done done yet. We have a game after this. So okay. the last question, 
how will people know about the policy? Because some persons might not Google and look for the whole document. How will the unit bring the policy to people? So our plan is to have multimedia awareness campaigns, okay. public awareness campaigns right across Jamaica. Okay, so social media, yes. everything. Okay, we're looking forward to it. And the PR unit will come on that as well. Definitely All right. look forward to the collaboration. <laughs> All right. So we're talking about the National Squatter Management Policy, but we have a game to play. And this game is four pick, one word. You excited? I All right. think I've played it before. <laughs> so we're going to have four pics laid out and you're going to tell me what is associated with these four pictures. I know you play it on your phone, right? When it, you know, it's yeah. free time. So we're going to play that game right now. So you're supposed to be good at it. All right. I'll try. All right. So we're playing four pic, one word. So looking at the pictures, tell me, you see a house, a cat, a family, a living room. Tell me what the, the four pictures, what do they represent? Four letters, one, two vowels. Okay. See if you can guess the. All right, I think I know this one. Initially, when I saw it, the cat threw me off, mm -hmm. but looking at it now, is it home? Home. Okay, yeah. you get to your first try. <laughs> first of all, when I saw it first, I thought it was. Well, no, we're not gonna say. We don't want to look at either. Anyway, so <laughs> it's home. So when we are, when we play these games, we ask a question associated with it. So I want to ask, what is what are some of the challenges that people might face um, with a home situation, a squatter environment? What are some of the challenges that they might have creating a sense of security with a house or a home? So some of the challenges persons will face in squatter settlements is the lack of access to social amenities. Um, we have come across some households that may not have access to a, a toilet, mm. etc. Yes, yeah, so some of, some of those issues you, we may face. Also, um, in terms of access to electricity, running water, etc. Alright, so this policy is definitely needed. Alright, thank you so much for talking to us, Mrs. James, Acting Director of the Squatter Management Unit. And if you want to know more about the policy, please visit our website at megjc.gov.jm. And if you want to know more about what's happening in the ministry, please visit our Facebook, Twitter, or X, TikTok, YouTube at megjc underscore jm. Until next time, this was Policy and the me.